This question is saying that the entropy to melt the ice, so that's the entropy of fusion between a solid and a liquid, is the same as the entropy to vaporize the water, so between liquid and a gas state. That sets up our equation for us. So now we'll plug in the values for fusion and vaporization to solve for mass of the water, M2. So we'll be solving for mass of the water. So it's pretty much just plug everything in and solve. I'll plug things in. I'm not going to write the units. I'm going to do this quicker. So we have 6,000 over 273. Where do we use 273? Well, that's the melting point of the water. So it's important to use the temperature for this phase change, this fusion of ice. And we multiply by the given mass and divide by the molar mass of water. Okay, we'll set this equal to the right hand side. We're given the enthalpy of vaporization of water and the temperature we use has to be it has to be the temperature for this phase change. So the vaporization of water occurs at 100 degrees Celsius or 373 Kelvin. And then we'll be multiplying by the mass we're looking for divided by the molar mass of water, which is still 18. If we wanted, we could see that these 18s would cancel. That's going to help us a little bit and then we'll isolate for the mass of the water. I didn't show the units because I wanted to keep things yeah. simple and keep it short. Um, if I did, you would see they that they would, cancel. joules would cancel, moles would cancel, Kelvin would cancel leaving us with grams. Therefore, the mass of the water that gets vaporized is 100 grams. So just a, as a takeaway, one thing to remember is for phase change calculations of entropy, make sure you just use the temperature that that phase change occurs at. So that's the melting point or the boiling point.